tutorial. It is the double elbow behind the back stall. Basically, this right here. Simple enough. But it takes a lot of practice to get it down um, to find the right positioning for the ball. And it's going to take um, possibly some flexibility and strength that you might not have, that it'll take a little while to develop. Um, so, to get right into it, basically, let's get it up close here. That's where the stall is going to happen. Right between your elbows, um, right above the middle of your back, and you just squeeze your elbows tight together and hold the ball in there. And it's going to be pressed against your elbows and kind of against your back a little bit. Basically, that's it, all there is to it. Um, to, to, to initially learn how to do this, you want to start with just bringing it back behind your back and, and placing it between this elbow and then quick bring the other one up. Okay? And squeeze. So it's going to look like that. Okay? So once you start to get that down, eventually you can go into learning how to time it to catch it. Okay? Um, it's going to take some time to figure out, once again, the placement and the timing to do the catches. Um, there's a million and one varieties of catches you can do with it. Um, it's up to your imagination just to see what you can come up with. Now, I also want to give you, though, before I leave you, because, um, you know, obviously this is going to be a real short tutorial. I mean, that's pretty much it as far as how to do it. Building the strength and the flexibility, however, is another story. Here's a couple basic stretches and strengthening exercises you can do to get it down. If you are not able to, to hold, just set it back there and hold it, then these will help you. This one right here. Lock your fingers behind your back. Flip your palms out. Bend forward. And pull your arms up. What's that that's going to do? It's going to allow you to learn how to pull your shoulder blades back. And it's going to stretch out the front of your shoulders and pec muscles here so you're able to pull your arms back more easily. Another exercise you can do is basically practicing like you're doing the elbow stall without the ball um, until you can get the ball back there and hold it. Um, all you gotta do is do this, okay? Keep your palms up and try to get your shoulder blades, try to make them touch to each other. Each shoulder blade, try to make them touch. Okay, um, you're probably not going to be able to do that. That's very difficult, but that if, if you have that goal in mind, you'll be able to pull your arms back really far, or even try to get your elbows to touch together behind your back. Okay, that's going to strengthen your back muscles and give you a little bit of a stretch here, but mostly it's going to strengthen your back muscles, um, which is most important, in my opinion, in being able to do this move. All right, another stretch you can do is to go into a corner and put your hands on the walls, on each wall, and all you're gonna do is keep them about chest height, and you're gonna walk into the wall a little bit until you, you'll start to feel a stretch across your chest, especially in, in your shoulder muscles here. That, again, will loosen your muscles so you're able to bring them back and do that stop. And all it's gonna do is look, you can do is this right here. It's gonna look like this. It's going to look like a kiss in the corner of the wall, okay? So basically that's again going to stretch your muscles right here. Another thing you can do is put the ball against the wall and lean against it with the middle of your back. Bring your elbows back and pick it up and hold it. Hold it for as long as you can. Um, it'll build up your muscular endurance and your muscular strength back in your back muscles. And over time it'll get easier for you to obviously hold it like that and eventually you'll, it'll make it a lot easier for you to go into catches, okay? Um, so, you know, even this requires a little bit of a catch because you've you know, got to put it up for a split second and throw it up and catch it. So doing it with the wall first allows you to do it without having to worry about the catch. It's just building the strength and the coordination for knowing how to hold it back there and placing it for it. And then eventually once you get comfortable with that, then you can learn how to do the catch. So that's the basic behind the back double elbow stall. Um, once again, it's a basic freestyle move, but it's going to require probably, if you're new to it, it's going to require a lot of new coordination for you, and possibly you'll have to acquire some new strength and some flexibility. Um, 
once again, it's up to you to come up with what you want to do with this move as far as a combination. I mean, you can go, you can catch it from all kinds of different moves, dribble moves, air moves, arm rolls, I mean, you name it, you can make an elbow, double elbow behind the back stall to end it. And then also, don't forget, you also have the option when you're doing the double elbow behind the back stall to do different dribble moves, um, you know, you can use air moves, I mean, you name it. So basically, you know, anything you can think of, again, from the elbow stall, you could probably turn it into some type of an air move, a dribble move, uh, arm roll, you name it. Just let your imagination go wild and see what you can come up with and be creative. That's what freestyle is all about. Thanks once again for watching this tutorial. Uh, make sure you check out my website, www.snakebasketball.com. I got a whole bunch of other tutorials on there, as well as on my YouTube page um, in freestyle, street ball, etc., etc. So if you're looking to learn more tricks, I got a lot more tricks uh, that I teach, teach you how to do them step by step. Once again, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.